got a little story for you. Yeah, what? You know, years ago, I was, I was ill in bed. And um, a friend of mine came to see me. And he was not knock on the door like this. My sister came to the door and answered. And she says, um, he, sorry, Tommy, he said, uh, is, uh, is Cack in? And she went, yeah, yeah, he's in. So can I see him? Says, no, he's in bed with, he's in bed. Says, Who's he in bed with? She's in bed with Flu. And he says, who's Flu? <laughs> right, we want to go through uh, some of the evidence uh, from all this worldwide bullshit <laughs> mind control that's been going on just recently. So you can check it all up for yourselves. And one of the first things... Before you get into that, I was in the shop the other day and there's this woman there and she's got a mask on. Uh, she's getting on a bit, you know, that's what I says to her. Don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. It's fake. You know what she said? What? You want sectioning. You know what I said to her? I want sectioning. You want sectioning? You're the one with the mask and gloves on. Oh yeah. People are falling for it. And you know, First of all, I laughed about it. We've just been driving around, getting essential supplies, of course, like uh, any yes. good person would. And we've seen lots of people wearing masks. First of all, I laughed at them, but I I'm sorry about that. But we realise that they're in total fear. Yeah. Absolute fear. And that's what that's what our mind controllers, our, our servants, use against us, this incredible fear to get us so fearful that we have to wear these paper and plastic and cotton things on our face. I'll tell you a little bit of story about a little shop owner where I used to live before. And uh, he gave me a call the other day because he'd seen me on YouTube. And um, he says, um, some of my customers asked me to get these masks in for them. So he's gone to the wholesalers, Hyper Armor or whatever it's called. I don't know what the name of the wholesalers is. And um, they're 85 pence each. He's, he looked online and they cost, I think, it cost 10 for a penny to make, to many. So if you sold them for 10p each, they'd be making 900% profit. That'd be more than it's been 9,000%. 9,000% profit. But the, yeah, the wholesalers are selling for 85p. Anyway, he bought some and put them in his shop and uh, he was charging a pound for it. So he's having to pay VAT. So he's making less than 10p on per unit. And you know what his customers said? You're a tight bastard. I can't believe you're so tight. You're an absolute money grabber to charge a pound for those masks, which are disposable, which won't. You know that thing I sent you by WhatsApp this morning? You can flash it up on the screen if you want. Um, about who wears a mask. Oh, yeah. Quite interesting. Anyway, we wanted to go over from the beginning. First of all, we sort of, we've come across the patent, didn't we? Yes. Of the COVID-19. Yeah. Several patents, that actually. There are several COVID patents, but the particular one now, which was done in November, I think the 20th, 2018, yeah. for this particular one, if you look about it, it says it's an invention. By the way, do a search, mm. find it yourself if you don't believe us. Or type into, flash it on. Yeah, type into your favourite, we don't want you to think that we're liars. No. Check it for yourself. Always check it out for yourself. When you hit somebody in the news, and here's today's news, the death figures have increased by an a mass, massive amount. Yeah, we're not liars. We don't work for the media. We don't work for Sky News. And we, we don't work for the government. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely don't work for the government. So you know we're not liars. So we're going to put everything in so you can double check it if you want, or research it <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Everything's okay. So, yeah, we found out that it was a, it was an invention that was made for the Purbright Pur Institute. Yeah. I'll flash that link. Up yeah. Here. It seems to find. So I I did a search and did some research for the Purbright Institute, and there were three inventors: two two men and a woman, or two women and a man. You can, you can find it on, when you look at the patent. It will say um, invented for the Purbright Company. Now, if you click on or you do a search for the Purbright Pur Company. Institute, you'll see that they were funded by. Oh, by the way, they're in Woking in Surrey, in yes. in the UK, in England. Um, they were they, and they're funded by the UK government by Alexander de Fuffel, You know him as Boris Johnson, the current Prime Minister, and also the <laughs> Who's Bill and Melinda COVID. Gates Foundation. Yes, I was just going to get to that, but you know your stuff, so. We know that the CIA and MI5 have also 
were uh, you'll see if you if you search for Purebright uh, company they also funded it the CIA and MI5 and the US and UK governments and it was assisted as our good friend sends here by Bill Gates who's actually um, related to the Rockefeller family and the Queen and the Queen yeah it's a cousin of the Queen Bill Gates is and this his company Bill and Melinda Gates were interested in it along with who the world health organization who? exactly <laughs> who, who, who aren't liars are they no never never. They would never lie and the world economic forum you, you, know, you know what makes me laugh the most about what this a bunch of bastards that got together to invent this what makes me laugh the most about this is we or even those wearing these masks and gloves we know how do you know when a politician's lying his lips are moving but now for some reason well he's telling the truth now because it's scary well, in America, they're wearing masks, but Trump's not going to wear one, is he? Do you think Wancock that passed those 200 draconian laws? By the way, you know when government's got... got they've got all these new laws. Yes, they're acts, yes. acts and statutes, yes. we, we know, because it says the coronavirus bullshit Act. Act 2020. Well, after two years, when they run out, they, they're going to... Are they going to relinquish them, aren't they? No! No government ever give up any powers that they've been given. The, that they've stolen. They weren't given them, they stole they them while themselves. everyone was not watching. Okay. I agree with that. So, we've got the first clue here. It's an invention. Mm. Then we came across... I think a viral. Did you see that virologist from New Zealand? He actually says, the virus is dead. You can't catch a virus. We breathe in 300 million viruses a day and they live with us. Was that the one that the YouTube took down? Yeah, YouTube took so it I down. So I put it back up on BitChute. Uh, we're gonna, by the way, people, look at BitChute because a lot of our videos are getting taken down now because as soon as we mention NHS, COVID bullshit, Corona, anything like that, it gets taken down within a few days. Now, what other proof have we got that all of this is a trick, a trick of the mind? So we had the patent, <laughs> the which is an invention. The fact that it was downgraded by the oh, UK thank government you very much. on the 19th of March. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it was supposed to be what was considered a HCID, highly contagious infectious disease. It was actually updated on the 21st or the 22nd, and you can see this on the uk.gov official website again i'll pop it on screen there if somebody wants proof so how come boris and wankok put us all under lockdown to see if they could get away with it so do you think this might be the this was the other bit of evidence that we come across event 201 yes. again it was Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, World Economic Forum, the CIA and MI5 got involved, and another company called Johns Hopkins University and Medicine. Ah. And they, what they said back at this was November of 2019. So it's only, what, five, six months ago. And they said they're gonna have a dummy run of a pandemic, bearing in mind that this is Bill Gates. Yeah? Bill Rockefeller Gates. Oh. Who's going to benefit from all this bullshit? Bill Rockefeller Saxa Coburg Gates. <laughs> He's related to Lizzie the Queen. <laughs> Lizzie the Lizard. And what, she gave a speech on TV last night. Actually, I didn't see it. I haven't got a TV. I wouldn't watch it even if I had. Well, anyway. It's probably on YouTube. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I forgot now. It'll get back to him. So we were talking about Lizzie the Lizard. And we were talking about... Wankok. That was what you were talking about. The government website where they declared it a, a non a non HCID. contagious infectious disease. So we were saying, how come they put us all on lockdown? Ah, yeah. Well, think about it like this. This is just a possibility. I'm just putting it out there like I put out... Dummy the, run. We, 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 yeah. There's a video floating around with the, the, the girl. I can't remember her name. She's quite interesting. Where, where she's shown these people have sent them where they've been walking around hospitals. But on one of them, as you zoom in, it says, 
something along the lines of live pandemic exercise going on. Oh, nice one. Well, it was... Um, the American uh, it, guy? It was Mike Pompeo, wasn't it? Yeah. I think his foreign secretary something like or secretary some secretary of state mike pompeo and these are really honestly beautiful wonderful people trump's uh, swamp swamp characters you know we, we said ages ago that he was going to drain the swamp when he filled it up but mike pompeo during a live broadcast and he went um this is a live exercise yeah and trump leaned across like that and he says i wish you'd have told me what about that you can check that up as well what you've got to do this is the way you you work things on out YouTube. If there are any anomalies in any story they're trying to tell us by them, I mean, Question it. those in, in power, if there's any anomalies, it's going to be faked. Because if it was real, there'd be no anomalies or coincidences, if you like. If there's any coincidences, question it. Look deeper. Because the fact they downgraded it on the 19th, the fact that they've come out and said it was an exercise, the fact that that was on that exercise was on outside that hospital, it's all there. These are all consist inconsistencies so that's how you know it's not real do you know there's um there's a magazine type newspaper that all the doctors get it's called the lancet yeah and in the lancet's latest edition you can look this up as well because as, as, as he said we don't work for the government we're not liars and we don't work for the media we're we not liars <laughs> we don't work for sky news or the bbc we're just not liars but in the lancet um, there was an article which said Boris Johnson is just making this up as he goes along and all his cronies are they're making this up as they go along now don't get us wrong we know there's many of you out there living in fear shitting it that you're gonna get this so sorry fake virus it's not real they are making the death count told them that just make it up by anyone that go that dies putting a COVID-19 sticker on that's how they're ramping up the death toll but it's still minutely small compared to road traffic deaths road traffic deaths beat it miles in the first four months of 2020 1.1 million people died of cancer you don't hear about that on the news do you what are we up to now something like about 30,000 worldwide 32 30 worldwide how many die from cancer each year again or just in the first four it's it's pathetic but I can get that you are terrified, but do your research. You don't, you're not going to get it. It's, it's, even doctors are coming out and saying it's less contagious than the common cold. So how come we're all under lockdown and we're having to social distance and we're having to queue at supermarkets and obey our government, and our what, servants? And what's going to happen if we come out of lockdown and everyone goes, oh, four, that, oh, yeah, great. It's they, the end of the flu season, by, by the way, now. It's they've run four. the test. They know how you're all going to react. So they can just store this again for when they want to scare you all into doing as they're told again or bring in enforced <coughs> vaccinations if they don't, don't do it before this ends. Here's a good one for you, Mac. Now, we were talking about this Event 201. Event 201, the Johns Hopkins Centre for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation hosted Event 201, a high-level pandemic exercise on October 18th, 2019 in New York, New York. The exercise illustrated areas where public-private partnerships will be necessary during the response to a severe pandemic in order to diminish large-scale economic and social consequences. Statement about NCOV and our pandemic exercise. In recent years, the world has seen a growing number of epidemic events amounting to approximately 200 events annually. These events are increasing and they are disruptive to health, economies and society. Managing events already strains global capacity, even absent a pandemic threat. Experts agree that it is only a matter of time before one of these epidemics becomes global, a pandemic with potentially catastrophic consequences. A severe pandemic, which becomes Event 201, would require reliable cooperation among several industries, national governments and key international institutes. Mm. Which, again, you can look this up, we can put it in the description, can't we? Event 201. Just do a where search. Bill Rockefeller Gates, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with WHO, World Health Organization, WHO exactly, mm. and the World Economic Forum, and another company called Johns Hopkins University and Medicine, all said that this was... I'd just like to point out that Johns Hopkins University uh, is actually 
the um, Rockefeller Foundation. They run it. They own it. Oh, I love that. I love that because I'll tell you something about Johns Hopkins University of Medicine. Do you know, when you, if you do watch the, the television, and I wouldn't recommend it, whatever news channel you see, you get the daily count of yeah. tests, yeah? Then you get the daily count of deaths. And who supplies the information? The government. No, it's the, the government get it from Johns Hopkins <laughs> Institute of Medicine, which is funded by the CIA, MI5, and the Rockefeller Organization. What does that tell you? Hey, look it up. The Johns, it's not John Hopkins University of Medicine. If you type in COVID tests, you'll see that it comes, when, when you look on the screen on the phone or your, on your computer, I, I could get the phone out now and prove it to you, but we'll put the link in. I'll send you the link. Pop the link in and yeah. So that's not biased, is it? No, no, definitely The Rockefeller not. Foundation and the CIA and MI5 no, no, give got... you the daily deaths. Well, well that's got to be accurate, hasn't it? Oh, they've they got, they, what, why would they lie? Why would you lie? Kidding me. You couldn't make this shit up. But actually you have, because it's an invention. I thought you knew about that. I'm pleased. <laughs> please, this, we, we like sharing information. So who's going to benefit from all this? It Quite seems well like the, the vaccine, big vaccine, big farmers going to benefit from this. And who's going to have to pay for it all? Oh, we are. So tax is going to like again, like Henry Kissinger you said, they'll be paying us for our extermination services. Hmm. He really was a rotter. He's still alive, isn't he? Mm. What is it? Three hundred years old? Well, when you take the adrenochrome, it apparently can keep you living longer. Well, but when you come off it, you soon. Have you seen um, Johnny Depp? I've yeah, I've seen looks pictures. Really, it looks like he's de looks like he's that's because he's not been able to get. Is adrenochrome. That's what happens. You sort of age quick, vastly when you stop taking it. Do you know, I wouldn't have believed this bullshit about. Sorry, I wouldn't have believed this rubbish about this adrenochrome until I witnessed it in a film that we've been sharing, or a series by a Dutch woman. I forget her name. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's called. Do you find it on YouTube? Again, we can put a link for this. I the posted YouTube it everywhere channel yesterday. is called Full Cabal. And she's got two playlists on there. One's a three, one about COVID-19. And she only put those on a few days ago. And it tells you all about the, the wonderful Bill Rockefeller Gates. And then but there's a 10-part series, which is a couple of hours long, but well worth watching. You may have to pause it to get through it, but it, it's not for the faint-hearted. It, you'll need a strong stomach to if, view if, it. And if, it's if, called Fall of the Cabal. It's yeah. done a few... If you're new to this, this... COVID shit came out. Be careful, because it might scare you. When the stuff it that scared you're me, see. and I know all about it. But, yeah, our mutual friend is right here. Be careful. Take a bit of discretion. Don't let kids watch it. It is pretty sick and awful. Part five is missing from the original series. So you may have to look for Fall of the Cabal, and you'll find it in ten parts. But we'll put the links in, won't we? Yeah. So yeah, apparently the common or garden flu, which is basically what people are dying from. I know we, there was a guy that works at a mortuary in an Italian hospital and he sent me on WhatsApp a video of in the morgue. You can see all the bodies uh, dead. No, just that reminded me of another con uh, inconsistency there. It was uh, him that goes on um, UK column that goes off in all, to all these... Um, Brian. No, no, no. He, he actually goes out and does something. You know, he, he's... Oh, what's his name now? I know what you mean, I can't think of his it name. It goes to all these fracking sites and that. Yeah. Mike. Well, no, no. No, not Mike. Um, It'll come anyway, yeah. what's in it now? Well, he said, I think it was back in November, that a mort... Uh, um, where'd they go? What are they called? The fracking site? No, no. Where the dead bodies go. The mortuary? The mortuary, yeah. Some mortuary guy had sent him a, a, a letter that he'd got from the government saying that there's going to be thousands and thousands of deaths. You're not going to be able to cope with the amount of deaths. This was in November. I think hospitals are empty, people. There was that black guy in New York. So went around that five is, hospitals. That tells you the government knew this bullshit was coming because they got it planned all along. And the reason they get away with it is because everyone thinks each government is separate. And at the top, they're not separate. They're all controlled by the same hidden powers that control here, control America, control France, Germany, everywhere. They're all controlled by some at the top 
The same group controls them all. There is no difference, and that's why we're in a world lockdown, the, with the exception of Sweden, of course. And so, the Yemen. And Antarctica. Oh, yeah. And, and Antarctica. Yeah. But there's very few people there. You know, they all, they're all there's a joint mission of all different nations going there. But, yeah, just what you were saying. I was going back to that mortuary. He sent me a video, and you can see there's a few dead bodies, but all the ones that are bagged up, if you've died of blood poisoning, uh, being hit by a bus, falling down the stairs, slipping in the shower, they still stick. I'm not going to show you a video from a from a mortuary morgue, because it's not very nice. But all of the ones that are bagged up in body bags, they slap COVID-19 stickers on them. Yeah. I was speaking to a guy yesterday at, at uh, <clears throat> Free Range Farm, and he was Italian. And I said, does, does anybody know anybody that's died of COVID? And he went, well, I'm Italian and yeah, people are dying there. I said, have you seen the proof? He said, well, no, my Italian family tell me that they hear it on the news, but nobody's seen any proof. <laughs> and we all know you can trust what you hear on the news. And the woman at the farm, she says, oh, I know somebody that's got COVID. She says she's 26, oh, she's got terrible runny nose. She's got a horse cough, she can't smell. Um, she's in bed with a fever. She said she just got regular flu. She went, no, she's definitely COVID. I said, could I have... Oh, she's a, doc she's a doctor now. Yeah. She's, she's already run the test. Yeah, I said, could I have the pathology department, please? I was ordered to leave. I think we're being lied to. There was something else that you were just going on about. After, I mentioned this morgue, and you were talking about something else, and something else came to my mind while you were talking about the morgue. And I'm trying to recall what I was going to say about it. So anyway, people, how was it last year? How was it last well, year? It's exactly the same as this, except we're... There were more deaths last year. Except, um, worldwide deaths, we all cold and flu, yeah. and viral infections. To say, you can't catch a virus. You can catch a viral infection, but you can't catch a virus. It's dead. But last year, Dan, so I've got a question now. How was it before? Did we have the same thing last year? We had uh, SARS. No, no, no. Just carry on as normal. Bird flu. They uh, really uh, ramp this one up. Actually, it's they call it ramp it up as well, it's don't fant they? Oh, they call, no, they call it the novel, novel coronavirus. Well, I've made a note about that. Strange how they call There's it. There's going to be a lot of cack and manks today because I've got plenty of notes here. <laughs> Nine pages. Yeah, the novel. I looked up the word novel. I'll find it. I take it you've seen the thing on the £20 note, the 5G tower and the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's here somewhere. Novel. Yeah, Matt Wancock called it the novel coronavirus. We may have to switch the camera off and we, we're going to have to do a special on this. So there may be two, three or four parts. So give us another couple of minutes. Novel coronavirus. And I asked the phone, what is a no what is novel definition? It says a fictitious prose with some partial degree of realism. <laughs> and the partial degree of realism, it's the common cold. The rest is bullshit. We'll be back.